Back Method Gang, we back with another video. This is for the beginners. This is a beginner guide how to get insane gains. Stuff I wish I knew before I started working out. When I started working out, it was pure grit, still is. Pure mentality, still is. But I had no plan and I had no idea what I was doing. I was just doing push ups, spamming it, pull ups, spamming it any type of calisthenics spamming it running doing everything i was just getting in shape like i was in i was fit guys i'm still fit now but um and of course i made gains when you start working out and you have no you've never worked out before you're definitely going to make gains no matter what but i wish i knew this so i could have optimized my gains faster because you know you see some people that they have gains um that i've seen that two years of training they're already where i'm at which is fucking awesome that to me that's like damn like he's out here you know what i'm saying um i never get jealous of things like that it's just my experience obviously again people have different bodies people respond differently to different trainings whatever everyone's body is different in some way you know what i'm saying um but the point of this is to try to get you guys in a right path based on my training this is how i train now i've obviously done many different types of training guys I've been training now for six years. I started seriously training at 2018 is when I really started working out every day, things like that. And I feel like now I've optimized this to a very, very amazing spot to where I'm getting gains now. And I'm still getting like guys, like huge gains and I'm on year six, bro. And before you guys say, no, I'm not on steroids. I don't take any drugs, okay? I don't take any drugs. <laughs> but my gains are ba I, I, I can't really get mad because, man, look at the, look at this, bro. No, I'm not even pumped. This is, this is, I'm not even pumped, bro. I worked out early this morning. This is a late video. I'm filming this at like 7.30 at night. I worked out at like 9 in the morning today. This is not pump, bro. Um, so you see the games. It, come on, man. The gains has been crazy. My shoulders have been blowing up because I've changed. I optimized the way that. And now I'm starting to fix my chest training because I realized that, honestly, I just wasn't doing enough for the chest. You know what I'm saying? Um, chest is probably my weakest point, to be honest. My chest and I would say my triceps, even though my long head specifically because i mostly did short head stuff and i was like yo what am i doing but anyways i just went off on a little tangent but this is the beginner guide to get insane gains so this is my split guys upper and lower yes upper and lower splits and i know a lot of people disagree with upper and lower they feel like it's a bad split they feel like push and pull is better they feel like um, full body is better, which I love full body, by the way. I actually add those two on here because my training is real, is basically this. Yes. But some days, you know, you have those days where you just do what you want. Let's be honest. Everyone has like a bro day and full body days are like my bro days. If I feel like I need to get more cardio, I'm going to do that. You know what I mean? Um, but for the most part, this is my training. Upper, lower blood flow day which is a rest day but i call them blood flow days and i'll explain why upper two lower two which is a different i'll explain that as well and then another blood flow day and then shoulder and arms and this can change so right now it's shoulders and arms because i'm trying to get i want to get even bigger arms bro especially my triceps so mostly and come on we want death star delts bro i'm trying to get even bigger shoulders right now but this i don't know it may change but let's be honest we all want huge arms so that's that's going to be a staple for now but yeah so upper lower blood flow upper two lower two blood flow shoulder and arms now this is why i do this because i feel like if you take too much rest days between the muscle yeah you destroyed it one day you probably did mad volume but then you're going to let it recover for like four or five days, six days. And at that point, you're basically starting back at zero. I don't see how you can get progress or you will, but it, it's minimal. I don't think you're going to get a lot of progress because you destroy the muscle. It already recovered and you're not training it specifically. You're not hitting it again until the next week. And I don't 
I don't see how that works. You know what I mean? Because we know blood recovers the muscle. It repairs the muscle. So if I train upper one day, right? I go hard on upper. Then I do lower. My upper is resting. Blood flow day, which is basically... Blood flow day to me is like a 20-minute workout. It can be jogging. It can be running. It can be boxing. It can be any type of exercise. Just to get the blood flow going. It could be 50 push-ups, 100 push-ups, whatever. I'm just getting the blood flow in my muscles that's what i call them blood flow days because i'm just stimulating my muscle okay all my muscles are getting healed i'm not going crazy it's quick 20 minutes half hour a run whatever i'm literally just getting active that's a blood flow day okay so then this is helping the recovery even faster now we're back to upper two so that's one day of rest two days of rest and then upper two is going to be you know a different it's a different you're hitting different muscles. You obviously you're gonna hit some of the muscles that you hit on upper one, but at that point they're already recovered. So then you go hard, then you do a lower two, and then another blood flow day, recover, same thing. You hit shoulders and arms, and then you're back to upper one. And I feel like that's the that's the sweet spot to get the best gains because you're not over recovering in the sense where like you're just letting your muscle rest for too long. Because at a certain point, it's already recovered. You know what I mean? You get back into it so you can progressive overload. But that's my philosophy. Hey, guys, I'm not saying my training is perfect. I'm not saying I have the best training and the best everything. Like I said, everyone responds to everything differently. Everyone, you know, someone might have a better uh, per, uh, split or whatever that works better for you, this and that. This is what i seen has worked. Man, bro, I have to keep showing you guys. Look at this shit. Like, li bro. <laughs> so upper one, okay? What is upper one? So upper one for me would be chest and some triceps, right? I'm gonna hit chest and triceps, and I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm gonna hit chest and triceps, and of course, I'm going to add some shoulders. Not crazy though. Some shoulders and biceps. And you're probably like, "Why would you do that?" I thought you're gonna just stick to this. There's a reason. There's a method to my madness, and this is just my own philosophy. This is backed by me doing this. Okay, <laughs> this is like I'm not saying this is accredited science and all this crap this is literally from me experimenting and what i respond to so chest and triceps shoulders and biceps right why do i do this because chest and triceps is a good thing to pair once you're when you're doing chest press and stuff you're going to stimulate your your triceps off rip and then when you go in with a finish over the triceps go back to the chest you know what i'm saying volume wise the volume honestly i do a decent amount of volume for this especially now because i'm trying to grow my chest because i've been lacking my chest i'm doing mad volume mad volume because i know i have time to recover for the next day when i'm gonna hit chest so it's like it makes sense my volume my splits are usually or my sets would be um i would say four sets for most exercises three depending on what i'm doing but for the most part it's four sets and it's, if it's three sets, I'm usually going to failure for each, um, you know, set, whatever I'm doing, depending on what I'm doing. Same thing with triceps. I'm doing mad triceps now, skull crushers, mostly focusing on the long head. And uh, of course, I'm doing, you know, push downs, things like that. But for the triceps, I'm doing like four sets, three sets. And there's only so much triceps exercise you can do. And then, of course, shoulders and biceps. I'm going to add those in there because I like stimulating these because... Honestly, guys, by me doing this, adding them in, I'm not doing like freaking 50 million sets on the biceps and the shoulders. I'm literally just doing enough to when I get to the next one, I'm still stimulating enough. I'm getting to the next one. I'm stimulating them again enough. And I keep seeing the gains, bro. I keep seeing the growth. I'm telling you guys, this is what works for me. I have to keep saying this because there's going to be people saying, oh, man, this is backed by signing all this. Bro, I'm telling you what I fucking do. That's why you're watching just because I fucking do it. Anyways, so that's basically what I do. Chest, triceps, shoulders, biceps. And, I'll, you know, whatever. I, I might add back just to get, like, blood pumping to my back. I'm not doing anything crazy for my back. I'm just getting blood pumping. 
especially if I do some shoulders and I and I always do rear delts. That's the one thing actually I have to say. Rear delts, bro. I'm I'm doing mad volume on rear delts. I can't even lie. I'll hit the shoulders. I hit I'll hit um you know my side delts. I don't really care about front delts like that. Um, at this point, I'll, of course I'll do them, but I'm not doing it as much as I do my rear delts. And I'm gonna add mad volume to the rear delts. So this is my upper day, the first upper, right? Four sets, three sets. I'm not gonna go specifically into the exercises because I'm basically gonna give away my entire fucking program. Anyways, lower two or lower one, I'm sorry, is quad base. So it's gonna be quad based. You know what I'm saying? Now this basically every quad exercise you can do squats you know what i mean elevated goblet um you know leg press all that stuff guys i'm, I'm adding all that the amount of sets the same thing guys four sets depending on what i'm doing three sets depending on how hard i go on the squats because i always like starting with squats for the most part um i usually always start with a squat a variation of a squat whether it's close whether it's wide front whatever I'm starting with that, then I'll probably move to some um, leg raises. Gotta have the leg raises in there. And depending on how I feel, three sets. Form-wise, I'm really controlling the negative. And, um, and, you know, I'll just rinse and repeat. So that's four sets, three sets, whatever. And then always for every single leg day, I'm adding uh, calves in here, right? I'm always doing standing calf raises all the time every day pretty much um for the most part um i didn't put that in the upper but i'm, I'm usually doing calf races like i'm not gonna fall out do like 20 sets but you get the point I'm, I'm stimulating it i'm stimulating i'm basically stimulating all my muscles in every single day but just not like crazy i'm not doing a full-blown workout on that muscle but i'm definitely stimulating it just to get blood flow just to get blood flow okay so anyways calves quad Quad base, whatever. Of course, you know, I'm going to hit glutes, part of the quads. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to hit those hamstrings is going to be included in there somewhat, but I'm not really focusing that much on it. It's just a byproduct of doing the other things. I'm eventually, it's going to hit that muscle group. You know what I mean? But that's not the main focus. It's quad. It's quad focus. So I'm focusing on quads. Then we're back to a blood flow day. Now, what am I doing on a blood flow day? Well, it really depends. How do I feel? So if I want to run, I'm going to run. I'm going to go on a run. You know what I mean? It can be three miles. It can be four miles. It can be two miles. It can be one mile. If I feel like boxing, I'm going to box. If I feel like doing 100 push-ups, 100 squats, 100 abs, throwback days when I used to do every single day um, during the school year when I used to go to school, then I'll do that. It's nothing crazy. It's nothing long. It's nothing... Um, it's nothing like, uh, you know, intense to where it's a real, real flow blown uh, session or anything like that. It's really just 20 minutes. It can be hit cardio. It can be whatever, guys. It's really just blood flow day. That's what, what the fuck the name is. Blood, getting your blood flowing. It's not by you sitting on your ass and doing nothing. I don't believe in a, just a sedentary day to where a rest day to where you're not doing shit. I don't believe in that. And I'll, you know what I mean? um that's just not what i do this is how i do it so i stimulate it like that you know what i mean so that's basically a blood flow day and this applies to both days obviously you can gauge how you feel on each day depending on what you do then you know what to do and then we're back to upper two so now on upper two what i say i said chest and triceps so now it's back and biceps Back, what a surprise, you know what I mean? Back and biceps. And then the secondaries would be triceps. Um, you know, let's see, shoulders, because I'm always doing shoulders every day. Um, back, uh, and then I'll add, like, abs. I mean, for me, guys, every day I do abs in the morning. Like, I'll wake up and I do 50 ab rollers every single day of my life. Um, I didn't include that in this because it's just like, that's just things I do on the side, guys. Like, I work out in the gym. You guys got to understand, like, this is specifically talking to be in the gym. Like, this is what I do in the gym. But at home, like, randomly, I'm I'm working out, like, every, all the time. I'm always working out. Like, 
I'm always working out, okay? <laughs> if it's not, I'll do random cab raises, random dips, or whatever. Like, I'm going to do that. That It could be bad. I, I, don't, I don't care. That's just what I do. So, anyways, back, biceps. Work secondary will be triceps, shoulder, same thing. It's going to be the same setup. Going hard on the back. Going hard on the rear delts on the shoulders. Uh, biceps, I'm going to go crazy on the biceps, triceps, you know what I mean? And obviously, by proxy, chest is going to get hit in there, here and there, whatever. Um, so, yeah, so that's a full session of that. Pretty much hitting, you're pretty much hitting every, uh, like, upper and lower split. You're hitting all the muscles upper. It's just some days you're going harder on another day, on another part of the upper body. Chest and triceps, you're going hard, mostly focusing on those. Secondary would be biceps, shoulders, whatever. Back and freaking biceps, same thing. Back and biceps are the most that you're going to hit, but obviously you're going to throw in triceps and their shoulders in there. Whatever you feel like you got to hit more, you got to add a little bit more volume, you're going to add it in there. That's what I do. And and this can change, guys. This can, It's not just fixed to where that's all I'm doing. Like, no, sometimes I feel like, all right, I'm doing back and biceps. That went good, but I feel like I got to I gotta do, like, damn near add uh, shoulders as, like, a, a try- how do you say, even say that? Secondary, uh, there's primary, secondary, triary? How the fuck do you say try? You give the fucking, what a, like a third fucking uh, muscle group, okay? And I'm adding shoulders in that bitch. I'm always adding shoulders in that bitch. So I'm gonna do fucking shoulders and I'm gonna go hard on the fucking shoulders. Even though I have this shoulder day coming up, I'm still like, fuck, I gotta hit the shoulders. Because what I realized is that shoulders recover mad fast. You can hit shoulders so hard and do it again and do it again and do it again. And the shit is gonna grow, bro. And I usually do that with, um, this will change. Like I said, guys, this changes. It's not just fixed to that um, thing. But for the most part, it stays like this. But again, depending on what happens, depending on how I feel, because I always listen to my body, depending on whatever, I'll change it, maybe a little bit, tweak it, whatever, okay? Nothing's really set perfectly in stone, but for the most part, it's like that. So then lower two, we did quads, so it's going to be hamstrings, okay? It's going to be hamstrings focus, for the most part, calves, uh, of course, I mean, I have to do calves, bro. You have to calves. And this can be hip shit. I'm going to throw hips in there, calves in there. Oh, I just already put that. I meant, um, you know, obviously glutes is going to be a part of it. Whatever. Um, I had some abs in there. You get the point. I'm hitting the lower body. So everything in the lower, just primary focus would be hamstrings, hip stuff, calf stuff. Whatever I feel like I'm lacking that I didn't really do too much on the first day, on the first lower part, I'm going to throw those in there. Um, sets, same thing, four sets for the most part on the on the compound heavy movements, three sets on the accessories for the most part. Failure, form is really good, focusing really on the negative. And again, guys, I know sometimes we want to just lift heavy. Um, and I and I can't and I'm not gonna sit here and lie. I can like I stick a hundred percent. I never ego lift. I never. That's a lie, guys. I I a hundred percent ego lift. Um, if I want to, okay. Because at the end of the day, bro, I want to have fun in the gym. I want to fucking. I want to go to the gym. I like going to the gym, and sometimes I want to fucking do what I want to do, okay. Like, I, like I'm not gonna sit here and act like one of these people that are like this is like i don't change nothing no bro like i'm keeping it raw and 100 percent real sometimes fucking i just want to do anything i'll literally run four miles then bench 315 then fuck around and squat like 405 for no fucking reason there's no point to it there's i'm just trying to work out bro because a lot of it too is my mentality sometimes i just like to challenge myself sometimes i want to challenge myself doing random shit i'll be in there fucking doing I'll, I'll get on these, this this uh, quad. You put a belt around your shit, like a belt around your waist. You have mad weights on the side and you go down. It's like a quad thing. And I'll fuck around and jump on it. I'll do little jumps to work on explosive power. Then I'll go to the damn, um, you know, the pull-up bar and the, and the tricep and the fucking uh, dips bar. You know what I mean? And I'm doing 75 dips, uh, fucking 50 pull-ups, 100 push-ups. Because fuck it. 
Sometimes I want to do that shit, so I'm a fucking Dewey. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? You know? And then everyone has shit to say. You ain't even on my fucking level, nigga. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I just had to talk about shit. But, yeah, so lower day is going to be that. Or lower two, my bad. And now blood flow day, the same exact thing I said about the first one is the same shit you're doing. Running, jogging, boxing, fucking 100 push-ups, 50, whatever you want to do, bro. You're going to do it. It's the point is to just get blood flowing, to recover your muscle. Don't destroy the muscle. Obviously, if you're sore as shit on hamstrings from the last day, you're not going to go and do a fucking crazy ass hamstring on the blood flow day. No, no, bro. You're just going to you're stretch it out. You might do some little, a little bit, just a little bit, just to stimulate the blood, just to get the blood flowing, to recover it faster. And then that's it. And then shoulders and arms. So this is like the bro day split. Okay. Shoulders and arm. Come on, guys. We all love shoulders and arms. I fucking love shoulders and arms. So this is the bro day split, or this is the bro day, pretty much. Shoulders and arms. I'm going crazy on the shoulders. I'm going crazy on the shoulders. Crazy, bro. I'm talking rear delts, spamming the shit. You know what I mean? Delts, I'm spamming the shit. Biceps, triceps. I'll fuck around and throw chest in there. I'll fuck around and throw back in there. Whatever, bro. I'm I, I'm doing anything on this day, but for the most part, I'm hitting shoulders and arms because let's be honest, we want these fucking arms. Look look at this shit, bro. Do you see this shit? Do you fucking see this, bro? Do you see this? Yes, I'm fucking natural too. I'm natural, bro. 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 So I'm doing that shit, okay? I'm hitting shoulders and arms. I'm going fucking crazy. Like I said, my fucker. And and now, honestly, on these days, I'm putting a lot of chest in here. Because low-key, I ain't got that big of a chest. You know what I'm saying? The upper part is definitely lacking. So we're getting that up there. We're getting that up there. Back, man, my back is my back is good bro but the lower the upper chest is lacking and and you know i'll throw abs in there so this day is basically a bro day bro you can do whatever you want but for the most part let's be honest we all want to hit shoulders and arms so we're gonna hit shoulders and arms it's really that simple it's really that simple um so yeah so that's basically my fucking split guys this is my split you know what i mean this is what i do upper lower blood flow shoulders and arms aka bro day aka you can really do whatever the fuck you want that day. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see. So, sorry, I got a notification because I will, I will actually have to get on this call with someone. So this is how you're going to go from looking like, let me see, what marker do I have that didn't run out? Looking like this, bro, like how I was. Okay. A stick. Actually, let me change this shit. We go from looking like this, how I was, to this, bro. And how you're gonna go from looking like this, bro. How I am now. I gotta add the triceps in here. I add six pack abs too. Shit. You know, I gotta get that, the thighs in here too, bro. I got huge ass thighs. Hamstrings as well. Calves, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's how you're gonna look like this. From level one crook, bro. Crook to level 100. Mafia boss. That's how you're gonna do it. Oh, this is a perfect thumbnail, actually. Hold on, let me get. I gotta get a thumbnail, bro. That's a good one. Anyways, I'm not cutting that out, by the way. I don't give a fuck. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Oh, fuck. I forgot to put my fucking Instagram in the beginning of the video. I always forget to do that shit. I'm eating nuts, by the way. Um, Follow me on Instagram, Mac underscore method. Okay. Follow me on Instagram, Mac underscore method. I be posting daily on my stories. 
honestly, I got to get back to posting reels every day because I definitely miss liking on that. And um, yeah, if you want to get coaching with me, book a call on Canonly and I'll get you right. That's pretty much it, guys. That's how you do this shit. You know what I mean? And um, I'll see you guys in the next one.